Hey everyone, um, some of you may know, but for those of you who don't, my name is Martin and I am married to the most beautiful woman in the world. But I have to share a secret with you. It's not, it's not always easy. And it's not because I'm not a good husband or because she's not a good wife, but it's because we're both imperfect people. First Corinthians 13 verse four says that love is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist in its own way. My only question is how, how can one do this? Don't get me wrong, but I love having things done my own way. Of course, I sometimes sacrifice things for my wife, but even when I do so, I keep thinking about how I would want things done my way. The Gospel of Mark chapter 8 verse 27 to 34 says, And Jesus went with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi. And on the way, he asked his disciple, Who do people say I am? And they told him, John the Baptist. And others say Elijah, and others one of the prophets. And he asked him, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Christ. And he strictly charged them to tell no one about him. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed, and after three days rise again. And he said this plainly. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and seeing his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. And calling the crown to him with his disciples, he said to them, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Now, first here we can see the Christ the chosen one, the the only perfect person who existed, saying that he himself must suffer many things, be rejected by everyone, and then be killed. Because love, real love, is not self-seeking. Real love is sacrificial. The most important person who lived and who still lives did not choose himself, but he became sin for us. The only one who actually could have gotten things his own way. The only one who could could have gotten everything done his own way. He chose not to do that way. Love is not self-seeking. Jesus said, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. You would think that love would be about feeling good about having the right person by your side. You would think that love is about what makes you happy, about what makes your heart skip a beat, feel butterflies in your stomach, but this is not real love. Real love is not interested with itself, but it's interested in giving itself for someone else. I don't think any of us is capable of loving by ourselves, but we have a God who is, a God who chose us before himself, a God who paid the price for our sin, a God who gave himself to die for us. And this amazing God teaches us how to set our minds in the things of God rather than on the things of man, who teaches us how to love, how to care about the other, A God who works his goodness in us so that we are enabled to deny ourselves and love as Christ loved.